Welcome to this Diagra-D tutorial. Diagra-D is an easy-to-use engineering tool with the focus on diagnostics. There are three functional areas within the software, with each covering a different type of diagnostics. The three areas are OEM-specific diagnostics, OBD diagnostics, and advanced developers functions. This tutorial will introduce how to access each of the three areas in Diagra-D. Before moving into more detail, we will start by looking at the user interface and the different areas. The menu bar on top contains all functions of the Diagra-D software grouped in different areas. Next to the menu selection is the address word and protocol selection. The address word specifies the exact address of the ECU that you would like to connect to. The protocol selection contains the available protocols that can be used to start the communication. The address word and protocol selection will be adjusted depending on the selected diagnostic dataset and will also be different depending on what kind of functional area you're in. Below the menu bar is the shortcut area. This area contains the most important functions for easy access. Here you can find, for example, the buttons to start and stop the communication and for executing different types of data recording. The main area of the user interface is used as the data area. Here you can see the information received from the ECU that you are currently connected to. The data area will adjust depending on the type of functional area which you are in. The area at the lower end of the user interface is the information bar. This area is used by Diagra-D to provide information on the current status of the software. The number in the left corner is a communication counter that indicates if messages between ECU and Diagra-D are being exchanged or not. Next to it, Diagra will provide information on its current actions, including information on the communication status, recordings and problems. The area on the right-hand side contains information about the selected diagnostic dataset, active remote controls and the selected interface. By double-clicking on the interface name, the interface selection will open. Diagra checks the registry upon start for the installed and supported interfaces. All interfaces that are supported and for which the driver has been installed will be available for selection. We are now going to look at how to access the three different functional areas. The first functional area are the OEM specific diagnostics. In this area, the software can be easily adjusted to connect to any type of control module using UDS, KWP2000 and other protocols. The software will display OEM-specific information and allows the user to perform functions like basic settings and actuator tests. The software can be configured using either an existing configuration, by creating a new configuration using the tool code editor, or by loading an ODX file. In order to use the different OEM-specific configurations, you have to select a diagnostic dataset. Each dataset contains the combination of OEM-specific functions, descriptions, address words and protocols. To open a diagnostic dataset, go to File, select Diagnostic Dataset and here you will have an overview of all the available datasets in your installation. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use an example project with an example dataset. Selecting a dataset will configure the software to that particular OEM specific configuration. After selecting the dataset, only the address words and protocols defined in that particular dataset will be available for selection. Starting the communication, will initiate the connection to the ECU. The green menu bar and the moving communication counter in the lower left corner indicate that the communication has been established successfully. Clicking on the stop button will disconnect Diagra-D from the ECU and stop the communication. 
The second functional area contains all OBD relevant diagnostics and is referred to as the scan tool. DiagoD is compliant to all major OBD regulations worldwide and is continuously updated to follow the latest regulations. It supports both car and truck OBD diagnostics, including European OBD, OBD2, heavy duty OBD, and worldwide harmonized OBD. In order to select the scan tool diagnostics, please go to the address word selection. Address word 33 will always open the OBD scan tool independent of the selected OEM specific data set. The data section has now changed and adjusted to the OBD diagnostics. You can see that two additional tabs have opened, one called J1979, which covers all CAR OBD, and one for J1939 and ISO 27145, which contains the truck OBD. The protocol selection now only contains the OBD relevant protocols. For this tutorial, we are going to select the CAN protocol. Clicking on the start button will now initiate the communication using the selected OBD protocol. DiagraD will now configure itself based on the responses provided by the connected OBD system. The OBD scan tool functionality of DiagraD will only display information defined by the OBD regulations worldwide. No OEM specific information can be accessed here. The advanced developers functions provide the user with a direct access to the memory of the ECU. By loading an A2L file, the diagnostic service read memory by address is activated. This offers the possibility to access further information through a different path than before. To activate the advanced developers functions, it is necessary to load the A2L file of the ECU. In order to load an A2L file, please go to File, Open ECU Description File. Here you have now the options to load files either from a storage location or from a history list of previously loaded A2L files. After importing the A2L file into the software, a range of new tabs will become available. The now available tabs depend upon the type of ECU. A range of different ECUs from various manufacturers like Bosch, Continental and Delphi are supported. To initiate a communication, please select the address word and protocol of the ECU that you would like to connect to. Afterwards, you are able to start the communication. When entering one of the new tabs for the first time, you will be prompted to enter a security access. This can either be a code that needs to be entered or a seat and key DLL which needs to be loaded. After enabling the security access, you can now start working with the advanced developers functions. Thank you very much for watching this DiagraD tutorial. If you would like to have further information, please feel free to visit our website at www.rac.de or to contact us directly.